Hi, and welcome to the Data Fitment channel. Today we're going to talk about how to import your data to Gephi. Let's get started. First of all, we have to understand what Gephi is all about. Gephi is a graph visualization software. So probably you will have to deal with nodes and edges. Okay, uh, let's go to the data laboratory so we can start thinking about this. Here we go. In the data laboratory, let me just close the edit here. You will have uh, a table of nodes and a table of edges. If you have no data inserted, it will be empty. So to start with, we're going to put some nodes here. I'm going to add a node called Mary. I'm going to add another node called Paul. And I'm going to add another node called John. And another node called Anna. Now that we have four nodes and each one with a label and you see the IDs of them are 0, 1, 2 and 3, we can add edges. And going to edges, we can then add them and say, well, let's say that this is a non-directed graph which means that there's no direction on this connection. It's not something like Mary likes Poe, but Poe doesn't like Mary. Mary and Poe are friends. So if they are friends, this is a non-directed relation. Let's see, like that. And you can even choose an H kind if you want to uh, mark it out, but we're not going to do this and that's okay. I'm going to add another edge here saying that Poe, on the other hand, is a friend also to Anna. And I'm going to add another node here saying that Mary is friend to Anna. And a last but not least edge that John is a friend to Mary. Now that I've inserted this data, if I go to the overview, you can see that I already have a graph here. And this graph, if I just ask to put the names on it, there will be Paul, Mary, Anna and Joe. And John, sorry, and all of them are connected according to what I specified in the edges relations. And this is a non-directed graph, okay? If I go to preview and ask for a refresh and then change it in the way that uh, the labels will be shown, you can see that the labels are like this here. I'm just going to put the opacity a little bit lower so that it won't interfere. Okay. But let's just imagine that you have uh, a data that was already produced, that's ready for use, and you want to put this data inside Gephi. The best way to do this is to import a spreadsheet or some kind of CSV file or tab delimited file. The easiest way that I know and that I like to use, at least, is to um, prepare my data on a spreadsheet software, can be Excel, can be uh, any kind of open source uh, software, and then import uh, this spreadsheet directly in the edges. Because if I have a list of edges, it will create all the nodes necessary for that data. Uh, if I have nodes that are unconnected, so then I will have to give a node table. That's another kind of situation. But Regularly, when we think about this, people have already a list of connections and with this list of connections, they can put this data inside Gephi. Okay, so let's take a look on how to do this. I'm going to open up here in Microsoft Excel. I'm sorry, this is the Portuguese version, so maybe some of the menus won't be the same. And I have to put um, headers, headings on this and the headings will be exactly the same as Gephi use to while they export the table. If you don't, uh, if you want to be sure that things will be correct on this, you can just export this table at first, ask it to, okay, this is right, uh, ask to save this, okay, and I'm going to put the name here as test one and save the CSV file. I will complete export the graph. And if I open up this uh, 
test file, you can see that it has a source, a target, a type that's undirected or directed, an ID that should be a sequential number. You don't, you cannot have the same ID all the time. Yeah, it should be one different ID for each one of the edges. A label, if you want to label this kind of connection, uh, time set and the weight. Okay, so having this in mind, I'm just going to prepare my data on Excel with this heading. Sorry. Uh, let's say source, then target, then type. Then ID. I just put the label here. Label. Time set. And wait. It's important to comment here that Gephi use as a standard uh, the separator, the dec decimal separator, it will be a dot and not a comma. So why do you want to import this, depending on how we you're dealing with your, your data here, this could have a little bit of an issue if you're trying to put an, a weight that is a fraction of something. So better use integer, integer uh, numbers here. So let's say that we want to say that Mary is connected to Paul, and then we have Paul is connected to John, and then John is connected to Anna. And then we are gonna say that also John is connected to Sarah, and Paul is connected to Sabrina, okay? And we are going to put all this, uh, this results here. Let's see how it's, it's like undirected, okay? And the idea is I'm going to put zero and then equals the first one plus one. It's a, a simple formula in Excel so that it will be a sequential uh, sequence of numbers. If I just copy this, Put this in a text file like this one here. I'm just going to create a new text file and create this. And if we save this as, uh, let's say, test test three dot csv. Okay, all times I'm going to save. Okay. And if we go to Gephi and create a new workspace like this, and in the data laboratory, we import the spreadsheet that we just created here. I'm going to open up down here. Let's see, test three, CSV. You see that it automatically identified that the separator is a tab that is an edge table that is UTF-8, the format, and it will import and, it's, and it will say that we have six nodes and five edges, okay? And there we go. And as you can see, it created all the nodes that I needed before based on the edge table. One important thing is if you use this kind of route to create uh, your Gephi file, you have to copy the results on the ID to the label, okay? So copy data from other column, we can say that we found a copy the ID to the label. Otherwise, it won't have any kind of label in your graph, okay? And the other thing that's important and is that if you use this kind of route, you have to understand that each ID must be unique. So if you have two Marys, you at least have to put Mary one, Mary two, because otherwise they will be connected together. And as you can see in the overview file here, and you can see Sarah, Paul, and everyone here connected. Uh, let me just put 
here in a more simple way. Reset zoom and ask for labels. And then refresh. And there you can see. Sarah, John, Paul, and Sabrina. Okay? So I think for this short video, that was the idea. Just introduce you all how to import your data to Gephi. And then we can talk in the next videos how to beautify your graph. Okay? So if you enjoyed this video, please give a like, share it, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Okay? See you next time.